everyone uh, so today I am going to be filming a haul for you now you may have seen my very first vlog that I filmed when I went to London last weekend um, I was so scared to film it and I've had such a lovely response to it literally every single comment has been so lovely so reassuring so kind and I'm really really grateful because it's really scary going around London with a camera at arm's length and talking to yourself essentially is really intimidating and when people are watching you I was shocked at how difficult I found it compared to being at home in my blogging room safe from all of the people in the world watching so yeah it was scary but I'm so glad that you enjoyed it and it's definitely in like given me the confidence to film some more so hopefully I'll be able to get over my nerves and make it a more regular thing but um I whilst I was in London obviously you saw I went to and other stories and oh what happened to my throat then I also went to a few other shops um, and so I wanted to show you today what I picked up so most of the things are from my trip to London but there are I think like one or two things that I bought online and um, so yes it's basically a haul of um, clothing and beauty products and yeah that's pretty much it um, so I wanted to get started and show you guys what I bought Okay, so I'm going to start off with trusty old boots. Now I went in there and I went in there for soap and I came out with more than soap. <laughs> so I just wanted to show you what I bought. So I did actually buy my soap. Um, it's my favorite soap and it's the Dove Beauty Cream Bar. I don't know if you'll have seen these before, but they are so gorgeous. I wash my body with soap. I also use a body wash as well, but I always have to use soap to make sure that my body feels really clean and the Dove Beauty Bar is so soft and gentle and it smells amazing. It's like a talcum powdery creamy bar of like gorgeousness and it's just so nice. So I picked up those um, which is actually what I went in to get. Um, now I also picked up a, a new Real Techniques brush. Um, it's the Real Techniques setting brush. Um, now I know this is used like to set maybe like under the eyes and things like that but I have seen quite a lot of um, bloggers and vloggers using this to apply concealer so that's what I have bought it for um, because I've been using my Real Techniques um, expert face brush for applying concealer and it's quite chunky even though it does the job I want to give this a try because it's a little bit smaller um, and the hairs are a little bit finer it's not so dense um, so I'm going to see what this is like and I'll be sure to report back to you guys so I picked that up I also picked up another um, Rimmel Moisture Renew lipstick you know that I've been wearing these religiously and I'm wearing the colour that I picked up today actually um, it's Diva Red in shade 500 and it's just a really gorgeous deep red it's so beautiful I love the finish of these lipsticks they're so so glossy and gorgeous and voluptuous and yummy and they're not expensive the packaging's really cute and yeah so I picked up another one of those there's so many shades that I want to get my hands on but I wanted a new red and I really like this one so got that um I also picked up some bits from Bourgeois now I picked up their Java rice powder um, which is actually really a lot smaller than I imagined it to be I don't know why um but I really really like this it's quite um it's an illuminating powder so it's got um little tiny kind of glittery particles in it but it's not glittery if that makes sense it's very subtle it smells incredible it's like again it's like quite like a talcum powdery smell but in a really nice way um so i really really like this i love the packaging of it green's my favorite color so can't go wrong there and yeah it's really really nice i can't remember how much this is actually it may be like nine pounds or something but i really really like it and it's very pretty so i bought that and lastly, I picked up the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. Um, now, I prefer a heavier foundation, so I didn't want to go for the Healthy Mix Serum, which is obviously quite a bit lighter. And um, so I went for the, the foundation, and I really, really like this. I find the coverage is really quite full, um, and it's definitely buildable, and it gives a really lovely glossy finish, like a luminous finish. And I have oily skin so I was worried that with a luminosity kind of based um, foundation that it might slip and slide around on my skin and the staying power is incredible. 
Um, so yes, I picked that up and I think that might be £10 as well, I'm not sure. Um, but when I picked this up, Bourgeois was buy one get one half price, so um, that's why I can't really remember how much they were. But yes, I picked that up and I've been loving that. Um, so that's what I got from Boots. To stick with skincare for the minute and beauty products and um, and then I'll finish with the fashion items that I picked up. So next, whilst I was in London having my, um, whilst I was in London um, last weekend having my skin peel um, at Courthouse Clinics, I picked up the cleanser that I've been using from them since I had my first appointment um, and that's the Vitage Revitalising Daily Cleanse. I have featured this in my daily skincare routine and um, so I will link that below if you want to go and have a look at me using it but I absolutely love this cleanser it is by far the best cleanser that I have ever used without a doubt it's just incredible I really 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 love it um, and it says that it's for all skin types so you don't necessarily have to be oily and spotty like me if you want to use it and um, so yes I love this I've been using it religiously and it's definitely going to be in a favourite so I repurchased that whilst I was in London. I also did a little bit of shopping at Lush Cos Cosmetics. Now I've never bought anything from Lush before. <gasps> Shock horror, I know, um, worst beauty blogger ever, but I haven't. <laughs> but I wanted to give stuff a try, I thought it's about time, so I did a little online order from Lush. I went online and I did a little bit of shopping on Lush. Now I picked up three products because the renowned thing with Lush is that the majority of their products are fresh so they have a sell by date on them of for you to use them quite quickly and so the, I picked up a moisturiser, a face mask and a spot treatment. So the spot treatment is the, their famous grease lightning. This is incredible, I can't explain to you how amazing it is. It's like a jelly kind of consistency and it's got this pump applicator. The one thing I would say that's quite annoying is that quite a lot of product comes out in one pump and you can't make it come out any less which is quite frustrating so you're using more than probably you would um but it's got tea, tea tree and witch hazel in it um and it has just been amazing for my spots literally i'll put some on and um it instantly you can feel it drying um it's not drying in terms of like it dries the skin out but it definitely does dry the spots out so it reduces redness, helps to get rid of any spots that have already come out, and it also helps to keep any spots that are about to come out at bay. Um, and yeah, really, really impressed with this so far. Um, oh, I'm really rubbish, I can't remember how much anything costs, but I'm, I always link stuff below, so make sure you go and have a look if you want to um, see how much it is. But yes, bought that. Um, I also bought my first ever Lush face mask, and it's their Catastrophe Cosmetic. Um, it's a fresh face mask that you're meant to keep in the fridge um, and I have to have this um, used up by the 11th of February so I need to crack on with it. I've used it three times so far and it's incredible. It smells really good, it's a really thick consistency, um, it's got little bits of particles in it, um, it smells quite earthy, I think most Lush products do. It's very cakey, it's a clay based mask and it is just, it again, has been amazing for my spots. I'm not gonna go into massive detail about it, but that's the, that that I bought from there. And lastly, I bought a moisturizer, which is their Skin Drink Facial Moisturizer. Now, I found out since I've been having problems with my skin and my acne, that actually my skin is really dehydrated and that I need to keep it hydrated. So, um, I was on the hunt for a moisturizer that would do just that, and my friend Zoe from Zoe New Love, um, was using this and I thought oh that sounds good and it says on the front if your skin could reach out and grab a drink this would be the one it would go for a rich sesame oil cream designed to leave a supple protective layer on the face without feeling greasy and that's exactly what it is my skin has been absolutely loving this it feels amazing it's quite heavy um it's like a, it's quite a thick consistency um but you, you only need a really tiny little bit and it goes a really long way and my skin has been lapping it up, literally. It's gorgeous. So that's what I bought from Lush. Okay, and then the last thing I bought makeup-wise um, this month is the NARS Sheer Glow Foundation. Now, I got my shade in Mont Blanc, um, and you'll be familiar with the NARS packaging. Um, the only thing with this foundation is it doesn't come with a pump applicator. I think you can buy them separately, um, but I think that's really naughty because this is £30.50, I think. 
that's how I think I got a discount because ASOS I bought it from ASOS ASOS um, and they had a discount on at the time so I didn't pay full price for it but £30 for a foundation is a lot and for it to not have a pump is re really bugs me um, but anyway this foundation B E a beautiful it is incredible I've got it on today and I just love it I was always a bit scared to use it because of the sheer um, factor um, that's associated with it but it is not sheer at all it's completely buildable it's a gorgeous absolutely flawless finish and I honestly think this is my favorite foundation I've ever ever used it's better than my Estee Lauder um, double wear and I just can't, I love it, I love it, just, if you haven't tried it, get a tester and try it, because obviously it's a big purchase to make, um, if you haven't tried it before, so I would definitely recommend getting a tester and trying it out first, but I can't see who could be disappointed with this foundation, it's amazing, so, and I love the NARS packaging as well, so that's, that is all of the makeup and beauty products that I have bought recently, so moving on to clothes. I went into trusty Zara um, and I picked up the last pair of these leggings that I wanted. Now they're covered in hair, which I assume is from a Zara coat. Um, but yeah, I picked up these, these black leggings, shock horror. I bought leggings from Zara. What a change that is. <laughs> um, but these ones are completely fabric. They've got like stretchy, elasticated bits down the side here and then it's high-waisted and then two zips on the side, which I'm not sure if they're even real. No, they're not. They're pretend zips, which is annoying, um, but not that I would put anything in the pockets of leggings anyway, but I quite like them as a detail. And yeah, they're just black, plain leggings. Um, they're a li they remind me a little bit of jumpers actually, um, for horse riding. Um, but yes, I love them. They were 19 99 and they were the last pair in my size, which is why I had to pick up the ones with hairs on, which is a bit annoying, so I'll have to put those in the wash before wearing them. Um, but yes, bought those, love those. And that's the only thing I bought in Zara, which is really good for me, because you know, the kind of relationship me and Zara have and it's not subtle so I did good okay now I also made my first ever Kurt Geiger purchase and look at the box like shiny silver and awesomeness and um, so okay so I had my eyes on these for a while and they are shock horror another pair of boots and um, because I can apparently never have enough boots and they are these little beauties. They're kind of like faux pony hair, um, is what they remind me of. They're not pony hair, um, because that would be awful. Um, but I just absolutely love them. I love black boots because they go with everything. And these were in the sale, and I thought, because I didn't buy them when they were full price and I really wanted them, that obviously it was meant to be because they bumped into me on the internet and were in sale so it was obviously meant to be um, and I just think they're so beautiful they're so gorgeous they're so soft they're the comfiest pair of boots I have ever owned I'm a size five um, but I really think I should be a five and a half because whenever I buy a size five it absolutely cripples my feet and whenever I buy a six they're just completely drowned and fall off me these are a five and they fit me perfectly like a glove no blisters no tightness no nothing they're amazing I love them there are two of them which makes them even better and yeah I love them yeah I love them both they're awesome and then I lastly went to and other stories and it was my first ever visit to and other stories and it did not disappoint it is probably the best shop I've ever been in in my life it is amazing it is my favorite shop in the world ever now and I'm going to shop there always so yeah that's a big statement so when you saw my if you saw my recent vlog you will have seen that I tried this t-shirt on in store and it's just a plain grey t-shirt but the fabric is amazing it hangs beautifully I actually went for a size 10 um, I'm usually a 6 or an 8 and I went for a 10 because I thought it would hang nicer and it does and it's beautiful and it was £19 so maybe expensive for a t-shirt but I don't mind paying it because the quality is amazing and then lastly I bought another pair of boots um, because oh, upside down because 
obviously one girl needs a million pair of boots and it's a necessity and it's not an addiction. Yeah, I bought another pair of boots, but they were in the sale, which is again, good. And they are gorgeous. They're not done up, um, but they were 125 pounds reduced to 37. Now, if that's not a bargain, I don't know what is, but I love them. They've got like this little buckle fasten on the side. They remind me of a little bit of Wellington boots. Um, they're a gorgeous maroony red and they're just gorgeous, like an off brown, purpley red, and they're just so pretty. And for £37, you will just never get a pair of boots of this quality for that amount of money, unless they're in the sale. So it was just meant to be. When I saw them, we just had to be friends, and we are, and they're awesome. And again, they fit me really well. So thank you, and other stories, for having an absolutely amazing 70% sale and bringing these into my life. I love them, they're awesome, thank you. So, and that was everything that I bought. Um, I've actually bought quite a lot recently, so, whoops. <laughs> yes, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope that maybe you've seen some stuff in there that you like, um, that you might like to try too. Um, I've definitely got a lot of things to be cracking on with wearing and using on my face. Um, so yes, I hope to see you guys all soon. I will definitely be giving vlogging another try and I hope you enjoy it. And I will see you all soon guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to give this video the thumbs up if you enjoyed it and make sure you hit the subscribe button um, if you haven't already to make sure that you don't miss any future videos. And I will see you guys all soon. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.